Rolex Ombego is among soldiers entrusted with the covert mission of escorting President Daniel Arab Moy from Nakuru to Nairobi during the 1982 botched military coup. Tonight on Military Tales, Ben Troy Njore has, has that particular story and that from that particular sit down. We journey from Nairobi to Gilgil in Nakuru County. In 1982, during the botched military coup, President Moy at the time was right here in Nakuru County. And there were some soldiers who were tasked with ensuring that uh, the president is safe and uh, is transported safely back to Nairobi, where he was supposed to say, I'm still in power. And uh, the, the military coup had been neutralized. And we're here to visit one of the military veterans who was among the few chosen soldiers to transport the head of state and offer security from here in Nakuru County. Here we meet Rolex Sami at his home. We would later have a sit down with him and his fellow veterans as we enjoy the scenic view of Naivasha at Ndumbo. This road goes all the way to. Born 69 years ago in Yamira County, Ombega schooled in Kisi. I was born around 69 years ago in Yamira County. I went to school by the school known as uh, Mongoli Primary School. From Mongoli Primary School after my standard seven, I went to Kisi High School. After my, uh, my O level was in Kisi High School, uh, I wanted to be a teacher. So I was employed as an uh, untrained teacher. So I studied Moimini at secondary school. His dream to join the military would be actualized in 1977 when he was among the recruits who tried out for the coveted position. During those days, if I remember, uh, joining the force was a calling. Because I remember for me to be recruited in Kisi town, I started following these guys from Kerijo. When there was recruitment in Kerijo, I was there, just watching what was going on so that I can be able to know what to do in Kisi the following day. After a rigorous training and pass-out parade, he was posted to the one care in Anyuki. Some of us wanted to run away when the, uh, the, the, the training started because uh, it was tough. It was tough compared to what I was doing as a teacher. He would study military communication and signals and later as an armament technician which gave him valuable skills on how to operate an assortment of arms and tanks. So after college I was posted to one care that is Nanyuki. A letter came that this guy was, has been posted to a wrong place. He was supposed to be posted to 66 Artillery Battalion which is in Kenyatta here, Kenyatta Barracks. I did communication uh, during that time we had RS. There was RS class and there was an OS class. Operator signaler and then there was a regimental signaler. So I joined the regimental signal. I was appointed to be the CO's uh, operator. And during that time, the CO was uh, General Tony. I served in Eritrea. I came back in 2003. Posted to school of him again now as an instructor. I'm a man tech. Yeah, I'm a man tech. All sila, sila, zote. Kuna sila, ikipita mkono nwangu ina tatameka. Sahi. Yes. I'll tell you in pistol, AK-47, G3, I'll tell you. He had a colorful military career, but his memorable task was that of transporting the late President Moy in an armored vehicle from Nakuru to Nairobi during the botched 1982 coup. During that time, people had gone out for an exercise. It was a big, big, big exercise. I was in 81 and I was left there. We were given a task. Then we were told, now you have to go to cabinet, to, to, to state house. Moi now. Mpeleke mbaka Nairobi. Akakoe kutoka ugo ya kwamba is still in control. And I came to realize Askari ni wengi sana. Can you imagine, after every 100 meters, kuna Askari this side and that side, all the way to Nairobi from here. All the way to Nairobi. So to come, we are going to come. That to come, we are going to come. 
Sindikiza mbaka Nairobi. I remember staying in state house for about uh, two months. Hata ile nguo likuwa nwaenda nae peke yake ulikuwa nae nguo zileletua huko. Kwa tuletua nguo hata singina tukujua silizoka wapi. Tukaletua nguo. Tukakaa state house. Mpaka at least mambo ikakulu. Ombego narrates his UN peacekeeping mission in Eritrea saying Kenyans should appreciate the peace we have in our borders. The official one was the one in Eritrea. All right. I served there for one year and came back. The other one, I served in Southern Sudan. Uh, now that one was after my retirement. This time I was training command. Okay, drill and command. He maintains the comprehensive training Kenyan soldiers undergo, coupled with their high levels of discipline, makes Kenya a force to reckon with. Rolex Ombego recalls how he once had a near-death experience after coming face to face with a snake during his assignment. We went to Moyale. And uh, during our stay in Moyale, we used to stay in Andaki, sir. Kyo Andaki, you know, na chimba chini, alavu na ingia nani. Ilikuja nyoka saisi hii, usiku. Kwa hiyo Andaki, kafanya na muna hii. Ila kutuma mjanga peke yake ikaistua. Because ata hiyo nyoka, haiku tarajia hati ndaenda kupiga na vita. Ombego supports the deployment of soldiers to assist security forces to weed out bandits from the rift. Kama imekua imefika mwisho, imesemeka na zaza haiweze kani. And we are called a bond. One of the crucial lessons he learned in the force that he still clings on to date is comradeship. During our time, joining military was a calling. Okay? And then during our training, kuna ile kitu inasemekana yule uko na yeye hapo ndiyo ndugu yako. Not your brother at home. Not your, your, your mother, not your father, whoever muko na eye hapo. Now retired Ombego, who is the Nakuru County Kisi Council of Elder Secretary General, is a businessman and a farmer and enjoys spending time with his former comrades. As a family man, he also cherishes spending time with his grandchildren. Ombego concludes by saying Kenyans should have hope for a better tomorrow owing to the prevailing peace in the country. Kenyans, we are in a good country. Kenyans, let us persevere. Kenyans, go to other places, go to other countries, you will cry. We are in a very good country, let us stay here. All right? Let us abide by the rules, let us abide by the laws, because these laws are there. And we shall move forward. For Military Tales, I'm Ben Troy